Good morning, Calvary. My name is Robert. Thanks for joining us here for your word for the day. You know, today as we look into the book of Proverbs, uh, we're reminded of a theme that we see throughout the book, and that is the necessity of a good work ethic. Now, this isn't new to the book of Proverbs, uh, nor is it new to the scripture in general. It's mentioned all throughout, even going back to Genesis, we see these themes. Uh, but even within the book of Proverbs, it's not surprising when you think about this reality, because Proverbs is, is a, a book of shared wisdom from a father to a son. And so this idea of uh, the necessity of a work ethic should not be surprising to us. But here we are in Proverbs chapter 10, we see this pop up again. I want to share a few verses here. Proverbs 10, sorry verse 4 says, Lazy hands make for poverty, but diligent hands bring wealth. He who gathers crops in summer is a prudent son, but he who sleeps during harvest is a disgraceful son. Now, some things to note here for us. At first is that God delights in us working with our life and our skills. God doesn't delight in us taking the skills, abilities, and resources we have and neglecting those and not using them to make a difference in this world. And he even links the monetary blessing we experience in our life to our ability to work. And that is that if we live in, in, in laziness, we get poverty. And if we want blessings, we should be diligent in our work. Now, this is a good time to remind us of a few things. First, the book of Proverbs are principles, not promises. We cannot simply say that because we work hard that we deserve wealth. There are many of you watching this that can look around either your life or the life of those around you and see incredibly hardworking people not living in abundant wealth and see lazy people not necessarily living in poverty. So these are general principles, not promises for us to claim in our life. But secondly, this is a good reminder that God delights in us being good stewards of our abilities and opportunities. As a longtime Havasu resident, the, the thought here of him saying harvesting in the summer causes some internal angst for me. But that next statement's a good reminder that snoozing on opportunities is not an honorable perspective for us to have in regards to our work. We should see opportunities to work and contribute to the world and follow through with those to the extent that it's healthy in our life. And that leads me to my last thought, and that is that God commands us to rest. Not to be lazy, but to rest from hard work. The Ten Commandments actually list taking a day of rest, a Sabbath, to the same level of importance as not worshiping false gods or murdering our fellow humans. It is that important to God. And our culture glorifies busyness and overworking to the point that I don't think most Americans fully know how to take a day of rest. And the result of this is staggering and can't fully explore that in our time together this morning. But know that this passage is not promoting working to the point of burnout, but it's actually asking us to have hard work in our life to rest from on that day of Sabbath. And the problem is staying at the extremes of overwork or laziness, rather than finding God's design of balance in the middle of hard work with intentional rest. So work hard this week, being diligent with the opportunities that God puts in front of you, and remember to take a day of rest as God has called and invited us to do. Have a great day. We'll see you next time, Calvary.